Hello, hello, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and Imposter Factory is finally out! Woo! I've been excited about this game for a long time. Kind of came out at a weird point. I actually, um, so I'm recording this on uh, October 1st. I just, um, earlier today recorded um, a video on the House and Fate of Morgana, which should be coming out on October 5th. Um, for my Halloween lineup, um, there, this will probably go up at around the same time, my second, um, um, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club video comes out, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Oh, man. I played a lot of mouthful games this Halloween. Anyway, um, so I, I was actually, you know, like, planning on just, you know, kind of relaxing and moving into the, the rest of the day when I see on my phone a YouTube notification that's, you know, like, um, launch trailer, Imposter Factory, and I'm like, wait, Imposter Factory's out? Um, for those of you, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of new esteemed viewers here who have never, um, here, I'm going to click on English. Um, so sort of, there'll at least be something moving going on at the, and it's going on. Um, so I, for those of you, I feel like there's going to be a lot of new esteemed viewers here, because, like, this is, I think, a time when the algor algor algorithm's going to favor this game, because it's new. Um, uh, I am, To the Moon is, um, probably, like, like, To the Moon is maybe my all-time favorite game, um, cause it means a lot to me for a lot of personal reasons, as well as just being really good. I'm gonna turn the light off in here, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so, I, um, what was I gonna say? Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, so To the Moon means a lot to me. I also really like uh, Finding Paradise, and I've been really excited for this game for a long time. Um, I'll probably link videos to those in the, you know, cards on screen, maybe now or later in the video. I don't know. Um, and check them out if you haven't seen them before. Um, also, there might be spoilers for To the Moon, because this is maybe the last game in the um, trilogy. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking a long time to get started. I'm, I'm like... Trying to... What is this? Internet icon. Oh, oh, it's language. Um, okay. Um, anyway, so the... Oh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so I want to get all this out of the way before I actually start playing the game, because there's probably... I'm probably going to have a lot to say there, too. So, the... Um, so, I remember when this game was announced, like, like teased... And it wasn't teased as being the finale to this trilogy that they had been kind of setting up. Um, and I, th I think this is... I'm just kind of assuming this is going to be the last one. Um, we'll see in the, e in the end, I guess. Um, I'm not going to do the whole game in one sitting um, as much as I would like to. Um, so... Um, the... Um, so, like, I remember it was not initially even announced to officially be the end of the story... And then it was, but it was still, it's like a murder mystery, I guess. I don't know. I've been kind of keeping vague on the details. Didn't even watch the launch trailer. Um, and yeah, so sorry about that. This is a very, I was not planning on doing much non-Halloween stuff, but I'm planning an Unrest, um, a video series on Unrest, which is a neat little indie game, and this now. So it's two non-Halloween stuff, in addition to all the other Halloween stuff that's coming out, you know, so far daily. I've been... So yeah, so with all that out of the way, um, let's start. And if anyone's still there, um, I understand if you're not. I say that a lot. Anyway. The squirrels, the squirrels are out of the way. So the thing that I'm most apprehensive about is the big tonal shift, is the fact that this is like, about murders, like a murder mystery or something. Um, end of the road. So yeah, this is probably the, the last game. Quincy. Oh, okay. Who those dumb parties at a place like this? Are they going to use the Sigmund Corp thing to solve a murder? That might be interesting. Why did they even accept the invitation in the first place? It had to be someone... Well, it would have to be someone who's almost dying, not dead. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Why did I accept the invitation? I don't know. Don't ask me, dude. So, okay, so we're not... I don't think we've ever played as, you know, not the scientists before. Um, uh, 
Let's see. So the ships interact. Oh, uh, this point click. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. It is funny because despite it not being a tearjerker, I do love a good, you know, kind of spooky murder mystery. This is a horse horse again, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe else is also some. Yeah. Is this. Is this gonna end up like the Raven or Jane Eyre? Wait, no, I was gonna say. I was gonna say Pride and Prejudice, because Jane Eyre is kind of. The, is kind of a mix between the two. From what I'm aware, I have never actually read Jane Eyre, but I. I actually have an. I think I've talked about this before on my show, but I have a long, a long on, ongoing running joke with some of my family members who are big like fans of, like Jane Austen and Charlotte Bronte. That Emily Bronte is the we like fight about whether who's the best Bronte sister. Um, yeah, so I think it's Emily because uh, Wuthering Heights, and they think it's Charlotte Bronte. Um, so this is interesting. I, already, there's a lot of, you know, like. This is this like kind of like panel like almost like graphic novel but also kind of film like use of cuts or whatever is is odd. Um, it's certainly something I um, I don't think they've done much with it earlier. Um, let me get that for you. Is this no? That's Quincy. Okay, Rika was invited to the. <laughs> Am I even in the right place? Yes, you're the first guest to arrive. In fact. Early, the other guests are just late. <laughs> Must be the rain. Impressive. It's clean to X clean twenty XX. So they aren't the cheese. If if the if the servants are dressed so snazzily, what are the owners of the house like? I'm afraid to find out. Whoa. Bathroom is to your right to wash your hands. I am a germaphobe. I'm guessing that, like, that this was written before, you know. It's kind of like my Amori videos. Like, it's kind of written, it feels like it was kind of written, is that a Donald Trump joke? I don't know. Um, uh, if it, this was probably written before the pandemic started. Um, Trump is, was also known to be a germaphobe, which is weird considering how he downplayed the pandemic. Anyway, I, as much as I love talking about politics, I don't like to do it when it's not relevant. And I find way, I find, Lord knows I found plenty of ways to make it relevant. I've talked about this here way too much. Holy crap, what are you? Um, okay. Um, uh, Endless rain? A literal fox? Sir Flu Fox? <laughs> Um, okay. So let's see. Let's do a grand unveiling of whatever this is. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeez, that's a bit overkill, isn't it? Okay, so the party hasn't started yet. Jeez, they're not just germaphobes, they're control freaks. You know, you probably could have just had them say, the th don't lift the things under the, um, <laughs> under the, under the veil, or whatever. Um, uh, oh, it's the same door. Okay. Um, or it's, a, the, not the same door, but a door to the same room. Um... There's just so much, like, I'm like, there's so much I want to talk about. Let's see. Oh, hey. 
I played. A, I've been playing a lot of Hitman recently, and so I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> Gonna try to knock him out. No. I mean, you don't have any training, dude. So it's not necessarily a you know a um, contradiction or whatever. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Um. It's not a hypocrisy? I don't know. Oh, I've already been in the bathroom, yeah. Bathroom, hands were washed and whatever. Go up the stairs. There's a lot more, like... A, a, this game, like, has, like, subtle polish improvements, I think, uh, and visually over, um... Uh, uh, to the Moon and Finding Paradise. Oh yeah, Omori. I don't think I ever wrote the the. Uh, I feel like Omori was designed before. I need to finish my series on that. No spoilers, please. Um, I feel like Omori was designed before. Um, uh, um, uh, I feel like that guy looks like Sigmund Freud. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm wondering if I would have thought that if if it wasn't Sig Corp. Um. Okay, look. Hello. Are these the leaders of Sig Corp? I don't know. I'm trying to like. Figure out how this fits in with To the Moon and Finding Paradise. The grand lore. I I did wonder, you know, before the before the games came out, if the um if the murders um uh, like in the game would have anything to do with like the contra the in universe controversy around Sigmund Corp. Um, favorite food. Got any? Uh, steak. Very rare steak. It's avocado salad. Well, my favorite food is pesto pasta, so I don't know. Avocado salad doesn't seem that weird to me. You never told me your name. Linry. It's like Linry, like Linry Rock, Rock Bell. Also watching Full Metal Alchemist recently. Oh, I can't drink now. Oh, that's a shame. I thought I thought I was just worried that pouring a glass would um, advance the story, but apparently it's not. It's the opposite. Oh well. Guess I'll have to just have to wait till Jekyll's Sun Gray replays. Um, okay then. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, but it shows how strong the stigma, um, this admittedly kind of earned a laptop with a physical lock on it. Um, uh, a laptop, uh, sorry, a, um, how much there is a admittedly kind of earned stigma against, uh, RPG maker games. Oh my god, this is Edith Finch! It's a red herring. Um, when I was, oh jeez. Uh, there's so much I want to talk about. Um, it, it's amazing that some of my favorite games were made in RPG Maker, and I'm still, like, weirded out by RPG Maker games. You know, like, if I see an RPG Maker game, I'm like, eh. Um, also, I think I've told this story before, too. Um, I, there was a, um, there was a, a game I, or sorry, a show I used to watch as a kid, you know, called A Pup Named Scooby-Doo. It was a, you know, <laughs> pretty much exactly what you would expect from that title but i remember that there was this there was this bully character um whose name was red harry and who was always getting accused of things that he didn't do and there was one episode where he did actually do it i remember um but I remember, it, I, it, then years later i was thinking about that show and i was like oh it's a play on red herring um so this is kind of like a lampooning of adventure game puzzles. 
I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a stretch. Oh, God. He's dead. He is dead as a doornail. Jesus. And there's blood foot. Oh, and she's dead too. Okay, I'm definitely liking this, you know, like framing. I don't know what to call it, you know, the the the, the selective showing of parts of the screen. Is she dead too? She's gone. Guess who's gonna be the prime suspect? Don't put your... Uh, I mean, he's in shock, I know, and it's probably... But don't, like, put your hands all over it. It's gonna be... They're gonna think you're Macbeth. Dude, you're making yourself look suspicious as hell. Jesus. It is interesting how often, you know, like, I don't feel any horror over these, um, these deaths, you know, and part of it is, like, because, you know, they're pic low pixel, but, like, lowest lo-fi aesthetics can be, I mean, I, I did a series on The Last Door, and that game scared and impacted the hell out of me, and that's lower, lower-fi than this, um, game. I think it's more, like, one, my general lack of caring about the deaths of aristocrats um and two but i think more relevant is that um the um or the wait what the hell what the wait but they saw something on wait okay so hold on let me, let me, let me finish my thought earlier, you know, it's also that, you know, like, murder mystery, like, these, these types of murder mysteries, you know, like, they're kind of rooted in the British tradition, I'm gonna be stealing some talking points from extra credits here, um, but, um, I think this holds true in what I've noticed, you know, like, um, um, in the, the in the British tradition of murder mysteries, the murders are, um, in the British, sorry, okay, in the British tradition of murder mysteries, the murders are generally not, like, super emotionally impacting. You know, characters might be like, ah, but the, you know, the, the emphasis is really on, you know, the whodunit, you know. And, um, uh, it's, like, kind of an inconvenience, anyway. Um, yeah. And again, I'm the type of guy who really likes you know, Zaheer, and so rich and powerful people dying is not something I'm generally, um, oh god, this is gonna, I'm gonna get my channel deleted, what the pug? I, I do love all the, like, things they use to, um, to denote, um, to, to all the not swears they use, um, well, it is a, um, well, okay. It's good thing this is up for debate or whatever. But, um, but it is, the, now there's a whole other disturbing thing, which is like, you saw them dead. I have had my blood, my blood sugar has been low a couple times, and I did not hallucinate any dead bodies. Maybe I'm in the minority, but I'm willing to bet I'm not. Also, they're acting like they just met him for the first time. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, you're starting to freak me out. <laughs> to the moon to the moon to the moon <laughs> it's, a two, it's Johnny and oh now I'm sad 
Please do not harass the other guests. A grizzly sky, it's a very poor choice of words. Yeah, that's a good question. Why hire people to clean your house for you if everything else is so is everything else is um is, yeah, if you have the X Clean 4 4 40XX Super a generation behind fuck you I'm oh, pleased that one of these people be um training terabytes long with what you've been brewing over here if rumors are true interesting if these are so like this this is like totally off the, off the beat but one of my, but my my and it, my thought is is this a flashback is this like before sigmund corp i'm like uh, lore the to the moon lore must be unraveled <laughs> uh, i'm like is this like the people who invented sigmund corp because the guy looks like freud and the uh, i feel i'm like peppy sylvia going on here knock on the door and say carol i actually haven't seen it in the episode i only know of I want to see from close to memes. Anyway, this is getting way off track. Um, but the, um, uh, the, um, okay. What was it? Oh yeah. So is this like, is what he, they're brewing up? Is that the original technology that led to the creation of Sigma Corporation? Probably not. <laughs> oh, wait. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that might actually be. It did that. That pedestal is the um, is would like be the right size to fit one of the the sprites for the headsets they wear. I have played these games. I have I have thirty out. I have over thirty hours logged into To the Moon. It's a three hour game. Three and a half hour, four hour. So yeah. Um, also. Um, I, I, there was a part of me that was like, how did I miss this? This came out on September 30th. How did I miss this? This has been like number one on my wish list. I've been waiting for it forever. I talked about how much I wanted to play it in er my earlier videos on Freebird games and whatever. And then I, and then I was like, well, it's also, I think I actually did get a notification, but like I get so many. Okay. My, I have almost 2000 games on my Steam wish list. It is not an exaggeration. It used to be over 2,500, and then I went on a big purge. I'd like, I cleared a bunch of stuff and ended up with under 2,000. So, no. So, like, I keep getting notifications. I don't understand which wish list is on sale. And I don't understand which list just released. I think I actually vaguely remember getting a notification. But, like, I had been so, I've been going, I've been, like, thinking about so many other things that I guess I didn't register that, like, the game I had been, like, the only game I'd been hyped about recently it, at all is, like, finally out. So I don't know what, what you're on about, but it sounds like you could really use a tuna roll. And... <laughs> it does help, I know. But you see, Linry, my team revolutionized the industry. I'm sorry, which industry are we talking about? Of course, excuse me. My mind shoots ahead on its own sometimes. I, um... I wouldn't call myself a genius, but my mind does shoot ahead sometimes. I, as you have probably been able to tell, Steam viewers, um... There's nothing... Okay, that was a weird little pause. Oh, it's you again. Again. No, she remembers you from the front door, you nincompoop! I think the refrigerator is the second most... As opposed to... Like, what's the first most common place to find ice? Outside in winter? Okay... Oh, for Christ's sakes. You're too snobby for these people. What the fuck? Oh, 
Mostly just bored. So do we have to talk about all these people again? Oh, we do? Oh boy. Dude, just start a YouTube channel. That way you can talk all you want and people will... Would, I wonder if this would still be there had I not gone into this room beforehand. I guess we'll... I guess we'll have to do a replay series on this and... See? Uh, sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Investor? Hey! Interesting. Why was this guy invited? Oh my god, this guy's insufferable! Okay, I guess I can leave. Why is it locked? <laughs> you can check out anytime you want, but you can never leave. What is even happening here? Am I going crazy? Oh no, it's you again. Yeah, okay, dude. Oh, she's seen stuff too. Oh. Uh oh. Like fire! Oh, my voice cracked again. I think it might be the position I'm sitting in. It doesn't normally crack this much. Anyway, um, also, j uh, hell, like fire, hell fire, etc., etc. What's going on? Do they see something too? No, just save yourselves. Is it going to be important to know where the second most longest, the second most common place to find ice is? Um, sapience? Oh. Patience. Got it. A silver samovar. This is a lot of, I've been reading a lot of words I can't, I can't, I could have pronounced recently okay that is very strange this whole freaking house is just oh, i want to go back and watch uh markiplier's video on uh to the moon again i really like those i wouldn't call myself a huge fan of markiplier but I do, his whole persona is just like a friendly, fun guy, which is really nice in the age of, well, frankly, compared to the other super popular Let's Player I, I know about, who is, um, you know, uh, PewDiePie, which we shall not go into right now. Winry? I keep thinking of Winry. Keep thinking Winry Rockbell. What is going on? Holy shit. I am very I am very much invested already. Here it is again. Okay, their eyes are kind of freaking me out. Oh, yeah, I think they're in there. Oh, they're, they're actually dead this time. Okay. So was he seeing into the future? Okay. Okay, so the chefs knew something. Chef in red. Okay. If your cooking killed someone... Your cooking caused them to spill blood all over the floor. So either your cooking 
Uh, so either your cooking was um, so bad that it caused them to hemorrhage blood from like their the, like their skin, or they didn't die from your cooking. Peta. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Did I do it? Honestly, this, to, to steal a tagline, hell, any one of them could have done it. Fuck you, Victor. Well, at least it doesn't seem like a creep is going on about nothing anymore. Small consolation, but still. I just, this guy's name is Victor, right? Oh my god. He's, he's, he's more of an asshole than Victor Frankenstein. Holy crap. I think I want to retire. I mentioned this. I don't think I mentioned this on the show recently. But I want to, I want to re um, retire the phrase mad scientist and start using privileged, um, uh, uh, privileged asshole scientist. Because that's really what all these mad science types are. They're not crazy. They're just privileged assholes. I'm just wandering? Ah oh boy, he's gonna get accused of... If he was lying, why would he tell such an obvious lie? Oh, for Christ's sakes. I mean, like, this is something, like, on the one hand, you know, I, I guess running makes you look more guilty, but, like, they already clearly decided that he was guilty. Because the, these people are gonna kill you, probably. Watch this. I love this hand just looks ominous. Like the hand icon looks like it's like about to, like it's popping out of something or gonna grab me, you know? Okay, what is in that water? Wait, they told him They told him to wash his hands. Why did they tell him to wash his hands? Also, where are Neil and Eva? The door is locked. That it is. What the fuck? Okay. So I've already seen all this. So he's, this is like, um. So this is like murder mystery, edge of tomorrow, or if you used to call it live that repeat. Um, or uh, Groundhog Day, obviously. Fuck you. I fucking hate Victor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A working vintage record player. Good for them, I guess. So 
So he keeps seeing them dead in different spots. So is he seeing like alternate possible futures? Where, yeah, where is Linry Rockbell? I find it weird that there's like two. Oh, this is your fault! This is your fault! I can't believe it took me so. Like, the game basically had to tell me. That time travel. <laughs> um, no, probably not. Then again, <laughs> I guess that would not technically be the weirdest thing that happened in this game so far. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, it couldn't be. That's dumb. I like how this, um, I like, as I, one of the things I like about these, um, 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 about these games, like, they have such a simple, like, their, their words, the word choice isn't, you know, like, I, I don't know, like, part of me always loves the big flowery dramatic things, but sometimes you just want... It to feel like what, something someone would actually say. There are two of you. I don't want to say Groundhog Day. <laughs> You're aware of how crazy you sound, right? Oh, trust me, I know. Not at all. Why do you think that? Well, let's see. Where would I run to? Well, yeah. I mean, the fact that you seem like you're trying to convince her that you are the killer might make you less, less suspicious. Then, yeah, that is true. It might just be... He's like, I wasn't the killer then, but I must kill now to preserve my... I just realized that that's actually kind of in poor taste because there have been murders to pres that have been committed, you know, to preserve. Anyway, I'm just going to let that let that go. Um... That is true. You two are both pretty sus. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, again, like, if someone, if someone came up to you and just said, look, all this crazy shit's happening, you know, like, I would, I would be like, uh, like, if someone said, like, all, like, all this crazy shit's happening, and I know that I sound crazy, you know, but I, I don't know, you know, you know, like, the, that thing he said, I don't know, uh, I feel like acknowledging how crazy he sounds and whatnot makes him more credible. So I know you're. <laughs> the murder puck. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I thought she. I just assumed she didn't and was just. I I assumed that she didn't and was just not. Um. I, I assumed that she did it. It was just, um, um, I was just saying that to, like, freak her out. Oh, God. 
ver. <laughs> I was gonna say, this just sounds... <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, there are corpses outside and I'm not in the mood. Mm, that's fair. Also, it would be fair why she think why she would think that was like some weird ploy. You're sounding more and more sketchy by the minute. I know. Lavender. Okay. Wait, <laughs> what? Something you want to ask and show him. Interesting. Do you not a clue? Okay, let's get this over with, right? Where's Eva and, and Neil? Oh my god, this is going on forever. Okay, let's do this. This is cool. This is my first actual blind playthrough of a Freebird game I'm recording. Well, unless you don't, unless you don't count the To the Moon minisodes. Um, and she's gone. Well, that's spooky. Hey, this might actually work. As, I might actually put this in the spooky, scary Halloween videos playlist. It's been reset again. I don't know. I'm expecting like a jump scare or something. Considering how ominous this music is. It's like a church or something? I don't know, something about the lighting is... Well, it's like, it looks like light coming through a stained glass window. I think that's it. Jeez, I have seen a lot of stained glass windows. I, if I know what the light looks like. Okay, seriously, what the fuck is going on? Locked. Locked again. And they're all, wait, no. They're not all dead, but there's more of them. Jesus Christ, this is, this is getting disturbing, not. <laughs> Actually, because the aristocrats are dead, but because the, um, but because there are so many of the identical, maybe there are two sets of octuplets that were all married. I don't know. Maybe, more likely, this is weird. What the fuck? Okay, this is... <gasps> Uh oh. You know, it's funny. This 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 feels like out of character for Freebird, but I also did a video on the mirror lied, and that is much spookier than any of the than To the Moon or Finding Paradise. I'm trying to like cloak it in kind of. An, an analysis, my fear and analysis, because this is actually kind of freaking me out. Also, why did the movement instructions show up down here again? It's interesting. Oh, oh 
Oh boy. Um. <laughs> wow. Okay, so clicking, my clicking makes it go, like, makes there be more of him, I guess. And he's not showing up in the mirror. Maybe it's almost like the mirror lied. <laughs> um. You just one of you was enough. Is it? Oh. What the pug? Go pug yourself, you mother puggers. Mother puggers actually sounded more dirty. <laughs> hey. Linry? What is going on this is going to be about you but then this happened so she's do using sigmund tech is this fey is this fey and colin jesus What the pug was that? You certainly seem to be acquiring sapience, Moriarty. I can subscribe if you got that reference. Not not like if you know who Moriarty is, but what? If you got the Star Trek reference. What? It looks kind of like he's goose stepping from bat from that right there. I do love how his animation just has his hands on his head. So wait, was she acting like she was like was she like just going along and pretend? Like was it all an act or was? Or was the Linry that he was interacting with a program that she created? And he kept seeing her. As well, is th so I know I'm going to be playing as Linry now. So as near as I can tell, someone is using... The, the Sigmund Corp tech to try and solve a past murder. Oh, is this? Is this like the, the Colin and the um, Johnny that, uh, the, the, that Neil and like the, the artificial creation of? Like, is this the memory of someone who was there? But it's also clearly not just a memory be, like because it's not, I don't know. This is like soul. It's like the, um, I do love the little walking. A lot of these like little icons I really like for some reason. The little interact icons. Act two. All right, I'm probably gonna be calling it pretty soon. How long have I been going for actually? Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh well, yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah, that, that'll be good. Um, Oh, wow, lots of... Oh, lavender! Lavender. This is more... Oh, okay. This is more like the Tooth and Moon stuff I expected. Well, that will... That will... 
me good. I am, you know, I I ta- I have a lot of problems sometimes with just starting series and then never going back to them. You know, I think I think that's a thing a lot of games have. Um, you know, they'll you know, like a lot of a lot of games are like I don't know. I've seen I've heard a lot of people say what I like describe what I experienced, which is you play a game, you really like it, you th- plan on going back, and you never do. So that's. But I something tells me I won't have this prop that that problem for this game. Um, so uh, I'm gonna actually just keep it here in case it um, in case it doesn't, in case it's like in case exit game means go to the go to the like just exit the game entirely and like leave a black screen in OBS rather than you know. Show this so that'll be all for today esteemed viewers thank you for watching if you like the video give it a like if you have something to know let me know in the com. if you have something if you have something to say let me know in the comments twitter letterbox and nexus.gg links in the description down below subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications etc etc um and yeah that will um that will be everything i think you've probably seen a youtube video before do the youtube stuff um uh yeah thank you for watching esteemed viewers and i'll see you in the next video goodbye